Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we have the new Treasure Vanguard event. Now, I jumped into it and then it hit me with this. So I thought just as a first look at it, this is obviously on the test server. So to get a look at what we're doing before we go into global, I just want to walk through it without skipping it all so we don't miss anything. Uh, and then if there's like a guide required or something like that, we will do that as well in the future. But I want to show you guys this event. Um, I've heard from people that it's got some pretty sick rewards, some time gazers and stuff like that. But let's just go through because I open it up it's going through some tutorial stuff what i want to do is just go through the information first so we can understand what's going on uh each treasure vanguard season will last for nine days you can create your team formation one day before the season begins so i'm tipping we're in team formation mode at the moment all heroes are set to 480 and their gear uh and tiers are unaffected they will not receive any artifact attribute bonuses pretty standard stuff trial heroes and short-term mercenaries cannot be used that's pretty basic in Treasure Vanguard, you are categorized into either Treasure Hunter or Treasure Commander as selected from the previous Treasure Scramble. You will join one of the four factions to compete with the other factions for rewards. As a Treasure Hunter, you are categorized as either of two divisions based on your contributions, Treasure Finder or Treasure Expert. By escorting supplies, verifying intel, and occupying treasures, you can increase your contribution to your faction. As a Treasure Hunter, you can add different attributes for your faction's treasure commanders by taking part in different operations. Sounds like we're just going to do some battling, I'm guessing. Uh, as a treasure commander, you operate by a prestige system in which you receive prestige by defeating treasure commanders from the other factions. When out of... When out of an operation, your heroes will only be matched with heroes of the same operation from the other factions. Okay, so um, um, they, the same same. Okay, get it? Not really, but we'll see. <laughs> In Treasure Vanguard, your individual teams will explore and battle independently of one another. So is it kind of like treasure scramble in a way, but like advanced as a treasure hunter, each of your teams can encounter enemies up to 50 times per day. It must be a treasure scramble system. Well, for treasure commanders, each team can encounter enemies up to a hundred times per day. After you've participated in the event, your, uh, your configured team shall be displayed every day at uh, yada 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 subject to the actual operation undertaken you can adjust your team's uh your team formation at any time within the season so it really does stand like a like a, a large-scale treasure scramble we'll jump into it in a sec after heroes have been dispatched their statuses remain locked combat calculations are based on the hero's stats and the time they are dispatched rewards in treasure vanguard consist of personal quest rewards and faction rank rewards faction rank rewards will be uh emailed to your to you after the season ends okay <sighs> That was big. Let's get into it. Guardians of Secrets sent you a treasure hunt invitation and you have joined the Guardians of Secrets. Okay. Here we go. Operation Dispatch. Uh, uh, dude, I, it's throwing me in the deep end here. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Dispatch requirements uh, teams three. I, well, I'm on my, I'm on my Remo P, so we'll do the easy one. Um, and I'm just going to do whatever it... Let's have a look. Okay, so we can obviously set our teams. Okay, happy days. Let's let's just go like this. Uh, let's just do like a, a Rem team, a Lucretia team. I mean, it's PvP, but I, I haven't got too much to play with. So let's do that. Let's do that. And then I guess we, we're stuck with our Raku team because that's what we've got. So let's do something like this. Uh, Lyca and we'll put you there. Over here, we can do our... We're just, we're just, we're literally doing our campaign teams because we've got nothing else. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. So let's do that. Okay. Uh, we can probably put normal Brutus in this. Uh, we can put, uh, where, where's Iron? Iron. And let's just go with, uh, you know, our, our spongy Sophia. That'll do. All right. Let's go here. And we can literally put anything we want to in this team. So let's go like you. If we got left you, you, and I mean, you, I guess let's, that, that'll be fine. All right. All right. All right. We're all set. We're all set. You just need a, a beast. You just need a beast and we will give you th that one. Yeah, that'll do. All right. Save. So that's that. 
Operation. After dispatch, your team will return to rest upon completing two operations. To undertake more operations, you need to dispatch your team again. You may change the operation objective at any time. Okay. So they dispatch. You know what? Let's check rewards because that's important. Ooh, okay. Okay, what's this? What's this? Reach level one treasure expert to receive commander rewards. Okay, so we've got some frames. Activity rewards. Okay, so this looks like our progression rewards. And this looks like, like the finishing reward. Reach the... Wait. First runner-up, second runner-up, third runner-up. Does that just mean the teams? So no matter which team you're on, you essentially just get like at worst 7,000 diamonds and 10 uh, time gazes. I'm pretty sure that's the way it works. All right, so let's go. So yeah, we've got scramble intel. We've got leaderboards. Uh, we've got battle history. So it's pretty much like a large-scale treasure scramble. So military camp, I don't think we can do anything there because it looks like... I've been like allocated this zone is what I'm getting at. So it, I'm guessing that's pretty much it at the moment. So what do we got here? Join operations one times, win 100 rounds of dispatch teams, reach level five. Th okay, so these are our missions that we get to go ahead and get those rewards. I don't know just by looking at them how tough those things are going to be to do because obviously we haven't seen what's going on and like exactly how it works. So I guess I'll come back tomorrow and show you guys, but what's our debuff? Damage dealt by all uh, all heroes is reduced by 80% until each hero has finished using their ultimate skill, at which point the cooldown of the ultimate skill is set to 12 seconds. When the ultimate skill is refreshed, the hero recovers all of their energy. Okay. Interesting. I, I don't really know, but hey, it's got sick rewards. It's pretty much just treasure scramble, which makes me think it's just AFK. So I'm pretty cool with it, to be honest. That's that. That's the way I'm seeing it at the moment. So it's 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 like a large scale treasure scramble. We're technically in teams, but not really because it's just a solo thing. But you're representing a faction. So this is my faction here, uh, and that's about it. Uh, that is about it. Okay, done. So yeah, I'm over. I'm over at this team. Can I? And I can't enter any of the others. So that's me up there. And yeah, now we just wait. So I'm tipping. I don't. I don't know if we're going to be able to see the, the others in our team, or if like it's just like a, a pretend faction thing and it's free for all. But well, I'll update you guys as I find find more. Like I said, we read all the info, so that's pretty much all I got at the moment. Let's see, black sale. Okay, yeah. So these are the different ones. So it must be like a group ish type thing. So large scale treasure scramble. I apologize for that, but that's that's pretty much what we're looking at. Like I said, I'll update you guys tomorrow. It looks like we got one day worth of um, preparation, which we're prepared now, uh, and then we probably have just start start scrambling i guess and see how it goes just get free rewards essentially hey i'll take it anyway guys that is gonna be for this one new event best thing is it looks like we're all just gonna get 10 time gazers uh, and some diamonds and it looks like the worst the third runner up which is last place let's face it let's not sugarcoat that uh last place still gets seven thousand diamonds and 10 time gazers. i'm cool with it and if we get all those progression rewards that's pretty good what do we get like one two oh something's going on in the house yeah, I'll, I'll take 10, 10, 10 stargazers. It's not too bad. What's in the chest? Yeah, we'll take it. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day, and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.